We're running! Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. This is a biped uh, special and uh, what is a biped? A biped is a uh, robot, what is it actually? It's, it's a robot trying to walk on two legs, right? Two feet, yeah. Two feet? Yeah, not walking on the legs, sorry about that. Oh, I forgot to say, my name is Fritz Lunemo. This is my friend Andrew uh, from the States and uh, I'm sitting in Denmark in my workshop and you're watching the latest in hobby robotics. Andrew! Um, we just saw on the site let'smakerobots.com there was a new cool looking biped robot, right? Red Red yes. Dragon. Red Dragon. That's hard for me to say. Red Dragon. Tell me about it. You think Red Dragon is hard to say. The person who made it, their name, I'm sorry, I'm going to slaughter your name. It's Gian Sita. Gian, I can't pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sure I'm horribly mangling your name. But you made a very cool robot. It's a, it's a bipedal robot with uh, ten servos, uh, and it's mostly leg. And uh, you did, it, it, they did a great job. They're, um, they designed it in uh, in uh, 3D Studio Max, and they they made they designed and made all the brackets themselves out of aluminum uh, plate. Uh, so they built it from the ground up. Uh, they did the programming. It's an Arduino, and they used uh, that. But then they also are controlling it with uh, Visual Basic .NET, and uh, they they it's really cool looking. They the, they even have it so like you can put the legs in a different configuration. So sort of the the knees can go forward like a human leg, or they can kind of bend backward like uh, I don't know what kind of animal has their legs bent backward like a camel. I know which animals it is, but I don't know how to say it in English. Stock in Danish, for instance. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that animal. In English, it's also stork. Is it? That's yes. that's really weird. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's anyway. Uh, doing a bi. <laughs> Sorry about that. Doing doing a biped robot is uh, something. It's 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 rather an, an an old challenge for for people building robots. I mean. The the Honda guys they're doing their very complicated stuff and um well it's everywhere. If you want to make something look like a, a humanoid, you better make it walk. And and it looks really fun when you make. But it, but it's hard to make something walk on two legs. I, I personally I never managed to do it. I don't think I tried that hard though. But I never managed. Did you try, Andrew? I haven't tried one yet. One day. Okay, one day you will. One day we will all make bipeds. Anyway, show us some of the uh, some of the other. Uh, more or less successful attempts uh, to uh, to do bipeds, Andrew. Hit it. Sure. Uh, we have uh, Converse biped by T Man, which is uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, another one. This one's almost scary looking. Uh, uh, Doctor Memo made the humanoid robot D100, and he's got pictures of it. It looks like the metal uh, skull from the Terminator, and it, it stands human height, and it, he's got it pictures of it down in his stone basement. It looks it, it looks kind of creepy, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid to meet that one. We've got uh, Retardo Kiddo made an Arduino robot biped. Uh, Rudolph made his own uh, 812R7 biped. Very catchy name there. Um... I think he made one of the most. Uh, I'll just show that uh, video of it here. When it moves, I just think for some reason this robot is one of the most alive looking robots that I've ever seen anywhere. I don't know, there's just something to this. It's not very advanced or anything, it just, it just looks very much alive. Check it out. It is definitely cool looking. I don't know why. It just looks fun. Okay, Andrew, thanks very much for this time. Bye-bye. And uh, you out there, let's see if you can do a bike robot. I'd love to see that.